What's happening peeps and peep heads, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. In this video we are going to talk about the Omega. The Omega is the current um, minigame that you have to do to uh, grab yourselves the Bajoran, um, the Bajoran reward. Um, and um, I actually got a, a message from like a couple of you guys and one in particular that was uh, and he was saying like maybe you should do a review about it because it's like um, not a lot of players actually know what to do with them how to play the mini games tips and tricks about that so with that being said uh, hello Fabio <laughs> goodbye <laughs> uh, with that being said I kind of need to switch over to another tune of mine um, because I'm actually farming those emotes on Zaguna and I actually did that already. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch over to another character that, has, uh, that hasn't grabbed the daily yet. And uh, with that, I'm actually going to say, um, or actually I'm going to show to you guys the, um, the mini games as well. Um, whatever you need to do. Uh, so basically right here what I just did. I'm sorry that I didn't explain So you push button J on your keyboard or hail starfield right here There's gonna be this tab right here with the Q uh, Picture on top you can basically click that and then hit the hail button and Q is going to appear and You can talk to him uh, Tell me about the anniversary and the option that I just took is the daily mission you can do this mission every 20 hours um that's really awesome of uh cryptic and star trek online so you can do these daily missions every 20 hours and they should go into your progress bar right here the omega stabiliz uh, omega molecule stabilization now this is basically going to take you all over the place uh luckily we have one right here on earth space dock hmm okay that's awesome Let's bring up the map. All right, so we need to go to the uh, left right there. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to show you guys the the um, the process that you normally can do if you want to farm these omega uh, molecules from yourself or just do the daily. Uh, and I definitely recommend the daily, um, or at least to do the daily the way I'm actually going to display it to you guys so the omega is right here just behind this uh, mpc right here stabilize the omega particle now i'm not going to show every one of them but um so there is this mini game where you can uh, there are like four sets of rows that are going to um going to start pushing like some kind of like molecules from the left to the right and basically right here to the right you basically move them with your uh with your mouse whatever uh button you are or whatever tray you are on right here it's going to you know grab all of them um i'm not really good at this game i really don't care about being really overpowered right here um at this particular part for me is just fine i just wait until the time runs out uh the daily is basically going to give you a reward uh i'm actually doing right now the red one so i'm gonna get a red um uh reward in in return so i really don't care about being really uh good at this mini game some of you guys are complaining because it's like really hard at some stages because it's like you know it jumps from one stage to another stage and some of you ha are having lag issues and stuff like that so you just it's not really you know um it's not really enjoyable. <laughs> so right here, after the time runs out, you're going to get a score um, count of an X amount of points. You can right here. There is a button. You can just press that to collect the rewards and it's going to give you at least one. So right here, if I take this thing, it's going to go into my inventory. Now, that's basically what you need to do in um, like uh, for the daily times three. Now, obviously, we did one. There is another one at the Vulcan system in space. And there is another one and deep space K7 in ground. So that is basically the, the gist of the entire mission that you need to do for the dailies. Um, now, like I said um grab yourselves the dailies because those are going to reward you those um marks that you need to obtain the uh the ship the bajoran uh, ship that is a really cool ship and i highly recommend you guys doing that grabbing yourselves that so what do you do with the the daily um 
or at least not with the daily. The daily you just turn it in at uh, Q and Q is going to give you a couple of auction. I'm currently farming the, the emotes right here. <laughs> I did like four of them already. So uh, one, two, three, four, a couple of more to go. Um, so the Omega shards, right? The Omegas. Um, so if you go to your... Oh, I'm going too fast. Sorry about that. Um, right here in your R&D button. So duty officers... Just below the minimap, mine is currently blinking green. Uh, there is an R&D tab right here. Um, special projects all the way to the end. Um, so these are the events that you're going to get. Now, I just got one on my other character and I got the Red Omega Trace. Now, there are a couple of stages on this thing. Keep that in mind. So the Red Trace, right? The Red Omega Trace. Um, probably on the Vulcan, we're going to get like a blue one and probably on the K7 ground, we're going to get a yellow. If memory serves me right now, I am going to bring you guys <laughs> uh, the e wave. So I am going to bring you guys a, a little bit of a screenshot overlay on top of my video where you can um, have a little bit of a cheat sheet uh, where all of these Omegas are if you are currently farming them because this uh, the, the entire duration of the uh, 8th anniversary um, when is this going to end? At February 22 you can basically farm all of these Omegas. And I highly recommend you guys doing that because they are uh, really pricey and also really, 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 and I cannot emphasize this enough, really useful uh, in the game as well. So uh, you can, from these, um, from these traces, you can make them like shards. From the shards, you can make them to the fragments. From the fragments, you can also uh, upgrade them all the way to the Omega technology and these are really good if you want to upgrade a particular set of um, let's say R&D weapons. I got a couple of ones right here that uh, might be um, useful just to showcase uh, how powerful these things are. But first of all you kind of need to upgrade them. Uh, so right here there if you start a mission right here so duration 20 minutes you can basically have this slider moving to the left or to the right at uh, the quantity is going to increase. So this is going to be a X amount of time. So that's uh, times five for me. And also the cost is going to increase by the X amount of time that you're going to increase it right here. Also, keep in mind the duration is going to take a longer, the, uh, longer um, of these uh, molecules you want to have so let's say just for one it's going to be 20 minutes and for five of them you know five times 20 so that's one hour and 40 minutes so that is in return it's going to give you a sliver and basically the same thing with the slivers one sliver is going to cost you one hour and um is going to sh I'm going to give you a reward in return uh, the one shard and you can slide this bar all the way uh, to the end to give you a five uh, shards but that's also going to increase the cost so um, we started one with three of them so three times five 15 and also the duration increased as well so we're not going to lose one hour in this thing but we are going to lose five hours and as well with the Omega uh, Fragment, this is a very rare one, so you can slide this thing to the left, uh, to the right, sorry. Uh, one of them is going to have a duration of two hours and it's going to cost you three of these shards. And all the way to the fifth version is going to cost you a 15 of these guys and also set you back for 10 hours. Now, this is the interesting part from the Omega Fragments uh, to the Omega Technology. Um, each stage of this thing, so it's going to, um, basically the same thing, uh, 5 times 5, is going to cost you 20 hours in its duration and also uh, each um, time you want to upgrade a Omega Particle, uh, you're going to cost you 3 Omega Fragments. So um, each stage, like I said, from, you know, from these uh, traces to shards to fragments to the Omega technology, 
these are really good and it's going to take a long time to process all of these so because like if you want to have like five of these to upgrade it, it's going to cost you 15 of these but it's going to set you back for at least four days 100 hours <laughs> so keep that in mind this is really really cool but what do you do with like the upgraded version um now currently i don't have one uh sitting in my in my inventory because these are just you know uh stuff that i definitely highly recommend you guys farming like i said uh these are really good and uh if you want to upgrade anything on your you know uh weapons r d materials shields uh whatever have you in your um through the R&D system to Mark 12 to Mark 14 or anything like that in that nature is going to give you these. These are the traces. Uh, no, sorry. These are the uh, Omega Particle Tech Upgrade. So let's see what these things are going to give us if we are going to upgrade it. Now, I think that this is the most valuable piece of item that there is in the game. Unfortunately, these are just bound to your account. These are not uh, tradable. Uh, the uh, fragments are tradable so you can put these guys on the exchange and make a little bit of money if you want to go that route but these these are the the best items that there are in the game if you, in me just highlighting those look at that there is this thing is if you're going to use it on the on whatever uh, item you're going to upgrade it's going to give you plus 25600 technology points and also times for the quality improvement cost and the most important or at least i think it is the most important part it's not going to cost you any dilithium at all look if i upgrade this thing right here all of these items are going to be on the r d part and you can increase them like you know major technology or um um whatever have you in your uh, in your arsenal um so these are definitely the most valuable items or at least i think it is and um if you guys can see i farmed quite a little bit on them uh but these are like from the past years these are not you know the current one current one i'm still i'm actually still turning them over from the last years uh farming <laughs> so i need still need to do some farming on these years but it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be there right it's gonna be there and i say it is the may uh, the most uh, valuable items because some of you guys uh, actually compare them to the phoenix boxes um okay let me just uh, get a couple of these all right so we got uh where did they go um uh, uncommon ones all the way to the end you're gonna get this thing uh some of you actually are comparing the omega with the phoenix stack um the phoenix stack only like if you want to upgrade something with uh, through the phoenix stack it's only going to give you um like technology point it's not going to you know it's not going to um, increase the, the the improvement chance or you know anything else like that. Uh, ba basically, the same uh, no dilithium cost. So both of them have the the you know the the uh, removed of uh, both. Um, uh, it's not going to cost you anything if you want to upgrade it. But this thing is just it's just you know it's it's not the same. Obviously, it's going to give you more technology point, but the rarity is not going to change, or at least it's not going to have an increased um, percentage to actually change in its rarity, go, you know, make it a better one. So with that being said, I just say, you know, farm these things, uh, grab yourselves, grab them from the from the exchange or uh, just go ahead and farm them you basically do not need the daily mission you can just put your character um uh, near one of those omega traces and um yeah farm them out <laughs> as it were and that is something that i'm gonna do definitely because you know um i i i just want to have them they they are really awesome to to have and they're really awesome to uh, to use in the game especially the no dilithium cause the quality improvement and all of that that is just you know that is just awesome in my book anyway i hope you guys had a little bit of knowledge coming out of my channel with this little short video about the omegas and um take care see you on the next one later